Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel again. My name is Liz and I'm a part-time reseller in Maryland. In this week's video, I have a buffet of yard sales to share with you where an interesting theme popped up. If you're like me, sometimes you question the choices you make when you're out there. Maybe you think you made a mistake. Maybe a choice you made led to a small victory. But in this week's video, someone else's mistake turned out to be a victory for me. Let's go check it out. Wow, that's a really good deal. And now that I have that bit of information, now you can go with what yeah. We reached out to Do you know what size the sneakers are? I mean I can check, but I figured you might twelve. Twelve, okay. How much do you want for them? Five each. Yeah, they are 12. Wow, someone had good taste in shoes. I don't know how to tell if these are real or not. Those are pretty cool shoes. I'm gonna enjoy this yard sale. I can already tell. I gotta make a, I gotta make a pile. <laughs> I'm making a pile near you so okay. you can guard it from the hordes that are here. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> if any minute we now. A guy here at 15. It was like, holy moly. Did he buy a lot of stuff, or you well, told him to come we back? Were still, yeah, we told him to come back. He's like, well, I'm going out of town. I'm like, oh, they all going out. Of town. I know exactly. What, I'm just quite sure that happens to me too. I'm quite sure I know exactly who it was. And I'm quite sure he's probably not going out of town. Right. He probably but meant he's going to an, a yard sale like in Ellicott City. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh. Is this pretty? This set is amazing. I'm totally getting that. This hammered like aluminum. Yeah. I love it so much. I can't believe it's so beautiful, but I don't trust myself to carry it over and not <laughs> drop it yet. <laughs> but okay. it's in my, it'll be virtually in my pile till I'm done. Like, okay. do my initial, this is, look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful presentation. <laughs> We're getting better each year. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is better than most stores. Yeah, they merchandise. Wow, they sure did. I don't know any little babies I'm like, guys, we just, you just throw it out, guys. no way you know what I don't know they might sell more this way because you can see what they have I I can't do it like that but I think it's great that they did there's all 25 cents each all different types of t-shirts oh that's cute sizes too, so you have to check. yeah, yeah. Can so I put this stuff in here? We I would love that. Okay, she can pay for oh, I'm just putting them on the them. edge. Just, I just oh, want to make okay. sure I don't forget to set them aside. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And I have a friend around the corner who repaints furniture, painted whims from next to Atwater's. I'm going to text her to come take a look at your furniture. Because if the veneer is chipped and stuff, it's hard to fix. But oh, 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 five, ten, but she can 15, just paint it. 22. That's 50, so add 50 cents to that. And they're 50 cents. Is that someone's actual coffee? Jenny, that is my actual okay. coffee. Thank you. you. Know, I Sorry about that. How many times I've tried to. It's one a time. Starbucks cup. Yeah, I know. You like to I was drawn to it. I was in a garage. <laughs> Wait a minute now. You didn't take a drink of it. Is it did extra you? with the coffee? <laughs> I was in someone's garage, like a garage sale, and I reached up to see this really cool mug, uh -huh. and I didn't know there was anything in it. I tipped it over to see if it had a name uh -huh. on it, and it dumped their coffee all over their garage. Oh. So right now I'm doing okay. I didn't even actually touch it. I just thought about touching it. <laughs> Cool. 
I think you. I don't think I added anything until that pack. Since you added up whatever we were at, uh, it does have a price on it. It was like two or three. I. It's it's pretty clearly marked. All right, my last perusal. Let's see. What am I missing? Hmm. This is very organized. This is the second professional looking yard sale I've seen. Really? Yes. Well, I need to go That's to the first one. Why is the other one? The one on um, Myers was really, really neat. So the one on Roanoke isn't even set up yet. They got one thing out. Well, I'm just talking about like the way you guys oh, have no. your clothing and stuff displayed. Perfect. Amazing. teacher.
I know, I saw it. They got books over here, honey. They sure do have books. My daughter's obsessed with these books. But I don't know if she needs these or not. But if I don't get them, I'm in trouble, right? Oh, come on. Do you actually know them? Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I think I could be in trouble either way. She's at that age. <laughs> anyway. Um, I was going to say a dollar each. You think that's okay? For the hardback. I love it. Yeah, okay. And I think you marked this one, didn't you? No. So one, two, three, four, five, six hardbacks. And then, say like two, three, so six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for the book. Okay. Did you say, how much did you say? Fourteen. Okay. Sorry. Here, just give me the bag. Wow, thank you for the exact change. Oh, yeah. Well, I found a bag of cash hidden in my own house, and boy, was I psyched until <laughs> I found out it was all ones from my last yard sale. Wow. Well, <laughs> I was like, wow, I didn't even remember I hid this from myself. That That's the thing about right? middle age. You can always surprise yourself. Hi. Hey. The usual suspects. They're all here. Yep. Thank you so much. How's it going? Give them a Thank you. Well, sorry. Yeah, I zigged when someone else zagged. Oh, you are? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that plan. You're going to throw your bike in it or you're going to save it? Okay. I don't want to sell it. It is? Yeah. It's a oh, Daddy had wanted to sell some bikes, too. Yeah. I, I want to go to one Daddy had wanted to sell some bikes, so. They have one giant one. Yeah. Yeah. I do have a. I'll, I'll invite you to my place. Hey! Long time no see. I know, right? <laughs> this is a cute little box. Oops. What's it originally for? Do you know? Just like a, like to put on your desk or something? That's really It's when you enter the house. Yeah, yeah, it's really cute. Some little hair. I think I'm gonna have to get that. I think I like it too much. Nice. Plus, I've never seen it before. If you've never seen it before, you have to buy it. Sometimes I don't know what it is, and I never find out. Gone forever. This would be a good breakup gift. That's right. Was she saying that to me? No. Are, are we breaking up? You know what? I had. I How long have you guys been together? I didn't want to text you. God, I, mean, I, you well, I appreciate that. That's I very know. respectful. Yeah, I wanted to do it no more. I wanted to do the whole classic yard sale. <laughs> yard sale. At least I'd be in my happy up. place when yeah. we break up. <laughs> do it when she's in a good space. <laughs> when half her brain's not working. Oh my God, you're talking to us. You must not, you're just, you're calm right now. <sighs> Yesterday I made a mistake. Oh. And the reason I make mistakes good. is because I get too excited. Okay. It doesn't really matter because you can't be everywhere at once at a yard sale. Correct. Or a rummage sale or whatever. You cannot be at all those places. So like if you go left and you get something amazing, yay! But if you go left and the amazing thing was to the right, like you can't be at fault. So I, but I tend to like torture myself a lot at part. And I mean, you know, regression therapy, it's all in, right? <laughs> So, How are you doing? I'm good. So some of my things are priced for like a I hear, bit of a... I live that world. You know, you know I do. Uh, I know you do. So the prices are kind of I totally for a get vintage it. sale, but they're not... This is not that. <laughs> so this is something I totally like. understand. I think Tracy priced some of my stuff too. Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, I love vintage trays, but they don't do well for me. I and this one's trees. so cute. I'm obsessed with them. I am too, but why are we obsessed? Well, because I'd like to layer them in. I mean, that looks so cute. That is really cute. Summertime? Yeah. Let's, I'm gonna, let me give that a place of honor, because I'm trying to... I'm trying to not get the things that aren't going to sell for me. I know. It, so I, and have then I, just, I mean, I have to I'm so also, hard to discipline myself. It's kind of like I, I tend to gravitate towards the things I like. 
But now but you should. have to try to gravitate towards the things I, you don't like. I might don't like that maybe somebody else likes. Yeah, this is cool too. I know. That's our okay. summary. That's really cool. Now that's glamorous. Is it? Yeah, Napier. You know, I have one myself. They don't sell them. Do I? I showered today. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Don't I mean, that great I know, but look at how cool. But the it fabric is, is so cool. It's gorgeous. It would be beautiful just to use it to make. It is. How clothes. much is it? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Well, then that makes it real tricky. I know it does. I hate <laughs> people say I don't know. Sometimes I, mean, I, I was tease them. Say twenty, but I, I don't even know. And that that thing, that's not the. I mean, that was a price. If I was going to put it at the art for play. Yeah. Just needs a little tightening, which I'm not. I don't. I don't even know how to do that. And but. I actually don't think it does. I think it's because it's not. Oh really? Oh, you have some of my stuff, though. No, those are my things. What? Sometimes it all starts look the that same. One, that one was one of mine. Yeah, those were mine. Those, you, you just recognize these two at Nathan's. Okay, I was pointing. <laughs> this was at my last yard sale. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm understanding. I just listed a bunch of Pyrex this morning. I can't buy any more Pyrex. Nobody wants Pyrex. I'm not buying any no, more either. They do. I'm they not... do want Pyrex, but. Fluffy! It's, you know, you have to just, yeah. You know I looked at these tables at your last sale. I'm obsessed with this. What's the shape of it? How much is it? Yeah, sure. I'll do it. Okay. And I owe Hazel three. I guess I think this is Hazel. Or Sarah. I'm not sure who I'm paying. Uh, well, you're not missing too much out there. There aren't that many sales. No. And I mean, I bought some things, but nothing like major. That's for you for your ice bucket. Thank you. Uh, so How don't feel bad. How many days a week do you, think, uh, do you go out, Liz? And morning. Um, is my husband listening or no? <laughs> Every day I can go. I don't thrift that much anymore. I I thrift like once a week maybe. So, but like Monday, I had to cancel Dodge Train because I found out about this estate sale. And my husband's like, now they're on Mondays. I'm like, how do you think I feel? I'm exhausted. Oh my Usually God. by Monday, I, Monday I get to relax. Your day off. Honestly, I could not shop for a year and I'd have enough merchandise. Really? To sell. I, I, I can't hold on to it. I might swing back by later. Oh, that really is a breakup piece of art. Oh, I just thought it was like something that everyone hated, so you give it to someone as you dump them or something. He's gone forever. <laughs> The usual suspects have beat me to it. <laughs> How's it going? You guys have a pile of rejects I can look at? <laughs> oh, 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 that's too bad. Oops. That doesn't look kind of cute, though. I do costumes sometimes. These are kind of cool. How much did you want for your earring? Huh? How much did you want for your earring for like? Nothing here has a price. That's two dollars. Whatever you feel like you want to give, that's fine with me. I think they're adorable. My uh, my spiritual gift is giving. Oh, uh, wow. People have given to me over the years, and now I'm just making them available. You see, if you really look real closely, you saw it online. Online didn't put what I have on my posters in the neighborhood. I it says, make, "Ask your own price. I didn't make see your that. own price. Right. Well, make your own me. price. So whatever you find." Anything would be okay. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh huh. So do I. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very kind. This is my third one. My second one, they, we had to go with the rain date, and somebody else had taken down their sign. Oh no! So we did not have. To oh. Go. So this is my third one. I'm, I'm hoping. Cool. We Say third. I think they match that other one. Sorry. Go ahead, honey. Match this. Make sure not not the interest. She's gonna are. get a softer cloud. I'm gonna grab my two dollars. Sure.
so oh that's cool. I like that. That sailboat looks like oops, looks like it could be sailing. Did she say a prize or no? You name your prize. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell what it was. Oh, it's a, it's a profile of like a Roman. Yes. Aristocrat. <laughs> and <I'm> noodles. <laughs> Some of these are more that's amazing. Yeah, that's a Christmas That's okay. Thing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. But that's okay. Uh, they can go down on the chairs. paintings that we have one upstairs and one down and Patrick came in and says I saw these on the side of the road oh, were two starving artists and I bought them because I had places in my mind for them and they're not starving anymore <laughs> <laughs> only about a third of what she had and uh, so he bought he brought it over here and he said but where am I going to put them so he had to go out and buy a cabinet his sister from upstate New York said, I want mom fishing. So she took the dishes up to New York with her, and then she had to go out and buy a cat in it. <laughs> wow. Is this a newer 
piece or is it older? Um, it's newer. It's <laughs> really cool. Yeah, well, good mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a whole nother set, and that's why I was like, Thank I don't need you. two of these. <laughs> right? I know. Oh, uh, then tell them I'll get it. And it's then it's forget it. No. No. Just tell them I'll get it. It's fine. She'll get in a little bit. So I think I owe you 30 for my pile. Um, <laughs> if you if I got the coach boost, would you do 40 instead of 45? Um, hold on. So wait, 15, 20, because that's you. Oh, that's all one. 30. Oh, okay, 30. Um, sure. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Selling it for the for the boxes. Oh, so that's okay. really cool boxes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You okay, bud? So how much is she? Five dollars. Do you know her the story? It's a puppet. Well, they're just these Indian. It's like a Indonesian. You know, these pup. They do puppet shows She's with them. She's really cool. Yeah. Let me dust that off. She's different. I like that. I like different. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to probably get her. I'm just okay. not going to carry her around because I'll make myself crazy. I happy. appreciate it. Somebody buy something from underneath or something. Ooh, yeah. what was the <laughs> item? I want to know oh, what they were. Board. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> I guess tis the season. Well, a guy asked the price, but he didn't say anything else after that. And then a guy just gave what hold and gave him two. I said it was a oh. And he took it. And then the guy turned around and goes, Where's the boogie board? Oh no. You didn't know, say you wanted it, you only asked the price. How much are these guys? Okay, this one you're going to have to like work on untangling it, which yes. one of the best things would be to restring it. You know, to cut these and then redo it. You know, I don't, I've seen them much worse than this. Yeah. Anyway. Five. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll do, I'll do five on him. Yeah. This is oh, I see, because he's missing. One of his yeah. strings is actually no longer attached. Yeah. There's a frog in That's here. That's very at that interesting. Get out of here. My daughter's usually. I think this one's really cool. Remember when the kids and he, have is these? Is the same price? Yeah. Because yeah. you know, he has his. Uh, yeah, well, this is uh, this one is a hand puppet. Oh, it's a hand puppet. Yeah, you put your hand up, up in here. Mm -hmm. Shipping labels. And then, you know, so you get to the mouth. And then you know, the kids would, you know, this would go around their neck, and then you know, yeah, go, yeah. Have you, you seen the this one, TV you... show Eric with Benedict Cumberbatch? No. So the like the lead character of the show, it's this like a six episode series, um, is a puppeteer. Okay. But like it's not, it's not a show for kids. It's not a series for kids. Right. It's like part like yeah. true I crime. Know how that works, right? Where you walk and it walks. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get both of those because those okay. are cool. Um, anyway, it's not, it's like part true crime and then part like family yeah, story. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. It's really the good. Buy it, the buy it yeah, it was really, really good. Yeah, yeah. I highly recommend it. It just sure. seeing that you work in that puppet reminded me of him. Okay. I like an eclectic yard sale <laughs> with unusual items. A Playboy car. Wow. Dollar for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see how old it is. I don't have my glasses on. I'm definitely getting that. from the 80s. Never seen it before. Have to get it. Okay. That's what they say. I had a whole series of them. She bought all the Bullwinkle stuff. Somebody bought all the Bullwinkle stuff? No. Oh. Okay. I forgot what was here. Okay, guys, thanks again for tuning in to this week's video. 
I was so overwhelmed with inventory that the best thing I could do for my car and my family and my home was to do a haul so that all the stuff could move on to its next um, abode. <laughs> So some of these items are from a rummage sale I went to yesterday where I decided not to film. And then some are from yard sailing today. And I did film, but I think it was just a better idea to show you the highlights of what I found so that you could experience some teachable moments, as I like to say. So um, mid-century barware is, has been hot for a really long time. I don't always buy sets now, but these shakers, this sort of Art Deco style shaker, uh, has made a comeback recently and I really like this hammered aluminum so you can see that there are like this gets really hot in the sun Ooh. you can see that there are like little dents of course in a controlled way that are made in the metal surface so I thought that was kind of special and that's why I bought it, it hasn't been cleaned or anything I paid five dollars for the whole set with the tray and just the shaker alone if my memory serves me correctly it was $35 online so I'm just giving you an idea of what things are worth and trying to teach you some things to look for. Um, I'm not always going to have sold comps in this particular video, um, but based upon my own experience and also what I'm looking up, I feel confident that, that that's a decent price for that. Um, I don't buy a lot of glass now. This is Duncan Miller, I believe. This is sort of like a, I guess it's a compote, or would you call it like a, ro a footed rose bowl because it's got this pinched top anyway it's hobnail meaning it has these like uh, protrusions little projections on the outside and it's pink this one's not opalescent it doesn't have that cloudy white fog sort of that gives it that nebulous look but that's still not a bad buy that I might actually list online because it's sort of a specialty item that some collector might be looking for they might want to pair and so that might go online and not in the booth where I usually put my colored glass. Um, I had never seen this coach bag before and the woman um, selling had really great prices. This one was only $5 uh, and you can see the sold comp made that a no brainer. Um, this I got at the rummage sale and I think it might be, it's either Jack Valentine or Hustle at Home Mom who often talks about these like Icelandic and Nordic sweaters. This one's not quite as valuable as some, but it is vintage and it does have good value. And I think I paid just a couple of dollars. As you can see, I'm filming outside today, so there might be some road noise and I apologize. Um, the sun is also a little intermittent. So I just really needed to process, process this stuff. And I figured why not teach you guys in the process of doing that. Um, so I actually don't know for sure if these are authentic. Can you guys leave me a, a comment if you know what to look for? I'm going to Google it. Based on who I bought these from, I think they probably are, but they are almost new and the comps are crazy. So I hesitate to hope. I'm going to look inside and look at the um, number inside, um, I guess the tongue of the shoe and see if that's helpful to me. But if you happen to know, can you help me learn something? Because uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I paid $5 and it was worth the risk. Even if I put them in my booth, and I just put like sneakers or something like that. I don't claim that they're authentic. We are kind of allowed to sell stuff like that. And I think someone will still pay uh, me a good profit to have something that looks so authentic. I have kind of cut back on buying vintage dresses, but the colors on this one and the, look at this, it's like tuxedo, oh my gosh. I just had to do it. And the lady was doing donations only. So I bought a bunch of stuff from her for $20 and that was one of the things but I bought a bunch of jewelry from her, which I'll show you a sampling of. So I had a couple of vintage like shirts. Well, one's a sweatshirt that I wanted to show you. Uh, Life is Good does really well. This one is in like new condition. It's a great size, it's extra large. Nice subject matter, a horse, uh, a woman, snowflakes, beautiful color, blue. So I grabbed that. I thought this was hilarious. I guess this is a local company, Slime Yard Slimes. I don't know if they get in trouble for sort of imitating someone else that's very popular but i thought it was hilarious and if you're not into that traditional preppy wear i feel like you still might want to wear this to kind of poke fun at that other company um these sell okay i think i found one for 25 dollars online um this is a vintage uh crew neck uh sweatshirt books always popular cast always popular put them together and life is good this was edward gory's um drawing and i saw it associated with t.s Eliot. So I don't know if he actually said that. I'm gonna to have to Google that because he's one of my favorite poets. Uh, but I thought that was worth sharing because the comp was $45. So 
back to this side, I have two bowls. Now people either love or hate Texas Ware. It's kind of like in Pretty Woman when he says people either love or hate the opera. Um, this one's actually sort of intoxicating looking, but this one hmm, isn't my favorite, but they were a dollar each and they retail for like 50 to like 75 each. So that I did like. You guys have seen me with Mara mugs before. This one has a cat. She clearly signs her mugs. So they're easy to identify and they kind of have this block look to them. See how the corners are squared off? That's how you'll recognize them. They sell very well in the booth for about 20 to $30 and online for the same price. So this I actually bought for me. I don't know how it made it in here. This is Chalcedony. This lady was selling rocks and I was like, those are the best antiques out there. Anyway, that's for my rock collection. I don't know how it got on the table. Sorry, guys. Um, I got these Coach Signature. I think these are called Pixie Dream Rain Boots. Not super high comps. I think I found them for like 40. Um, I'm going to clean them up a little bit, but I paid 10. They're a size 9. If all else fails, I might wear them. Um, they're pretty cute, actually, this multicolored print. So I went to one yard sale, um, and there were some of what I call the usual suspects there shopping. And I wanted to be polite because as you know, if you've watched the Thief Caught on video or Thief Caught on tape video that I um, put out six or seven months ago, it's really, really rude to jump in on someone's um, shopping, especially if you're in their personal space and they're actively looking. So I asked them, these people who are very accomplished pickers, if I could just look at their rejects. And the woman said they're all rejects and she walked away. So I started looking and some of these pieces are very sellable on Etsy. These are Swank. This is a beautiful set. I mean, you could give this to someone for their graduation. It's the tie pin and also, this is faux amethyst, I'm sure, um, cufflinks. This is marked 800 silver. Uh, this looks Russian to me, but I'm totally guessing. It could be from a completely different country. That is a guess. Um, I haven't Googled that specific item. Um, these sell well for me because of the, the sword, like this sort of novelty look. I think this may have some precious metals in it. Haven't tested it yet. I've never actually seen, oh, this is actually a, a pendant and a brooch. I've never seen this one before. It's costume jewelry, but costume jewelry can do very well. That's something that I try to teach people who are new to jewelry. Don't turn up your nose and say that costume jewelry is a reject because you might pass up a Porsche belt buckle, which they passed up. And when you look at the comp, this is from 1981, so similar era, you'll see that they should not have passed that up. So I also got this, um, this is like a service pin. Like you give it to someone, for this particular person, it was five years of service. Sometimes these are really worth picking up. Sometimes they're gold. So I was surprised they passed those up. And they also passed this up. This is a Thai chain and it's marked Christian Dior. I haven't found this exact one yet, but I'm gonna uh, put in a comp if I do find it. ET's making a comeback, so I had to grab that. That looks authentic to me as well. And this is an Elgin watch. My dad will have to tell me if it has value. I haven't found this one yet. Um, but if I see certain names, Elgin is one of them, I pick them up or my dad would get really mad at me. He would give me a very calm lecture though about it. And I don't know who made this guy. He is awesome. I can't even tell. Oh, look, he is signed GM. I've never seen him before. He's just really well done. So I got him at the runner's sale for a dollar. I don't do that great with brass, but I'm very addicted to homeschooling picker uh, and part-time picker and they do really well with brass. So I'm gonna give this canister a shot. Maybe they'll buy it from me. Uh, because they do like brass. Uh, I think it was a dollar or two. Anthropomorphic. Don't ask me to spell it. I could put it on the screen for you. If you see like fruit or veggie stuff that's made to look like human, um, that's anthropomorphism. Uh, we often attribute our pets as having anthropomorphic traits, you know? Uh, sometimes I think they do. <laughs> anyway, this is a planter. I think it's missing a little worm, which is too bad, but I still think it's super sellable. And again, didn't pay much. One of the yard sales I went to had some more modern jewelry, but technically vintage, maybe like Y2K. Um, bows are in this season and this is Juicy Couture. And so I was happily surprised by that. I did grab a couple of collectible 
uh, like matchbox type cars, uh, die cast cars in their original packaging. Both of them are vintage and worth grabbing for a dollar a piece, which is what I think I paid. So this lot of cars hasn't even been opened, but when I see a group of something of this quantity for $5, I know I can get my money back. Even if I sell them for, I don't know, a quarter a piece at a yard sale, I won't take the time to go through each and every single one. Now we don't always have that luxury. I wouldn't have done that 10 years ago or 12 years ago when I was new to the business because I couldn't afford to waste $5, which would be how I would sort of have felt about it back then. But now I know I would get that money back. And so the chance that there's something more valuable in here is worth taking that risk. I have not looked at these collectible stamps, but this guy was really cool and some of them are older. And so I will check them out. And if I find anything special, I'll show you. But I did want to mention that stamps are worth taking a look at, but they can be time consuming. Merry Mushroom, the mushrooms are still in. Um, these are super cute. I never find this stuff. Not as big a value as I would have expected, to be honest, because maybe the mushroom fat is dying off. We only forage for them now. We don't want them in our kitchen, right? T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. Um, Cause I think foraging for mushrooms is still pretty hot. I'm gonna jump down here for a second. So I have more scarves than this, but I wanted to have a sampling to show you. You want to look for vibrant colors, interesting patterns, like see these horses and lions, the stag. This is like, a, this reminds me of like um, Dolce and Gabbana and uh, I can't think of the other name, but I'll put it on the screen. This has that look to me, but I, I didn't find the name on there and it's made in Japan. So if you recognize this insignia, I guess, let me know. It is silk. These were a dollar a piece for silk. This looks so much like Hermes, but it says made in Italy. So help me out here. Uh, I tried Google Lens, that did not work for me. I'm gonna try it again when the wind isn't blowing because I think it was blowing the pattern around. But for a dollar a piece, silk scarves, vintage ones with beautiful colors or graphics are always gonna sell for $25 and up, whether they are a designer or not. I don't buy every single one I see. This one was cotton. The wind, uh, the wind always picks up whenever I'm out here. I don't know what that is. And I didn't know this name, but I looked this up. And this has a nice, nice value. So I was happy with that. Um, hopefully I'll get to list all this stuff. Now I have some of these hanging in my kitchen, but they're different vegetables. I paid a dollar for this strand. I don't know if I'll put this in the booth or sell it online. It might be a little bit of a pain to wrap each uh, bulb of garlic and then try to ship it. So I might just put it in the booth or on Facebook. But um, these fruit and veggie things are back, people. So we need to look for them and capitalize on that. So this piece actually surprised me. Uh, you know, when you go to these sales, you could go right, you could go left, you could go straight. And sometimes you second guess yourself because you see that someone got something you didn't get. But you know, you know that book, Everything I Ever Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten? I, mean, I might be chopping up, I might be <laughs> destroying that original title. Uh, you know, you sometimes you just have to go with, you get what you get and you don't get upset. And this is actually a very teachable moment for me because I was drawn to this shape and design and this is signed on the bottom by a well-known mid-century artist. The comps are kind of all over the place, but well worth the dollar I spent on it. And now I know to look for pieces like that. So now I'm glad I went left, uh, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. Um, there are so many things out there for us to find and you cannot be everywhere at once. So I try to just be happy with what I get. Um, these puppets always sell in my booth, but they do also sell online because they're collectible and hard to find. This is one of those walking, puppets. I think it's called a doozy bird. And I'll put the name up of this one. Um, the guy who had these was really cool. I'm going to insert a screenshot of something he had in his garden. I, I think we were kindred spirits. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by those, but I have sold them before. So uh, this one I haven't sold. This one I have similar. So I knew that they did well. Now this isn't the finest carving work I've ever seen, but when I see signed pieces, I do pick them up, especially if they're two bucks. And that's why it made it to the highlights. Um, this is a really, this is a really cool bird. Um, this also reminds me of Kayla from Homeschooling Picker. For $2, I took a risk. I haven't found that exact artist yet because I didn't have my loop out here to look up the name, but it is someone from Iowa. So I'm gonna look it up. Um, I paid $5 for this. 
This is an Indian puppet of some type, I believe, in a shadow box. And there's a pair that I found in a comp using Google Lens, and I'll put it up on the screen. So worth picking up for five bucks. I like to find these old trucker hats. Check to make sure they're not like dry rotted and gross. I just think people like to wear like these novelty hats. Um, this one needs a little bit of a cleanup, but I swear sometimes people don't care if they can have something cool like that on there. And then I put this in the hall because not that this timer is extremely valuable, but look at vintage timers. You got to look at them. And this one's really cool. I haven't seen one that does that, that changes the color. So I thought that was cool. This is probably a $20 item. Some timers, some timers sell for like a hundred. I think I did sell one. If I can look up the comp for you, I'll put it on the screen. I think I sold one for about $99. It was the coolest kitchen timer ever, similar in size. And I think you mounted it on the wall. Now I'm gonna do a quick scan and make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, these are just the highlights. Um, I do like to do the shopping videos for you guys, but sometimes the editing takes so long um, that it's a little bit easier for me to do a haul. So at least you get to learn from my mistakes and my small victories. Um, so I hope you guys get out there shopping. You find some amazing treasures and you pay yourself well for that time. And you know, I always hope that you never stop searching and I will see you guys next time.